CMS just released the new 2023 premiums, deductibles, and coinsurance for Medicare Parts A and B. So today I'm gonna to go over all of that information, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jessica Mannion with My Health Care Direct. I'm a licensed Medicare insurance broker, and I help clients all over the country go over their Medicare options. While in years past, CMS usually waits until around November to release the new Part A and B costs for the following year, this year is a little bit different. So let's start with Part A. Again, Part A is your hospitalization coverage. For 2023, the inpatient deductible is going from $1,556 to $1,600 in 2023, which is an increase of $44. The daily coinsurance for days 61 through 90 are going up from $389 in 2022 to $400 per day in 2023. And for lifetime reserve days, the coinsurance is increasing from $778 to $800 in 2023. The skilled nursing facility coinsurance will also be increasing next year from $194.50 in 2022 to an even $200 a day in 2023. For those of you who do not have enough work credits to earn Part A at no additional cost, if you have between 30 to 39 quarters of coverage, your Part A monthly premium will be $278 per month, which is an increase of $4 from 2022. Those of you who have less than 30 quarters of coverage, your premium will increase to $506 per month in 2023, a $7 increase from 2022. Moving on to Part B, which is of course your medical insurance. While in years past, the Part B premium and deductible has increased from year to year, this is one of the few times where it's actually going down in 2023. In 2023, the Part B premium will go from $170.10 in 2022 to $164.90 in 2023, which is a decrease of $5.20 per month. The Part B deductible will also be decreasing from $233 in 2022 to $226 in 2023 which is a reduction of $7 for the year. For those of you on the higher income earning side, you may be familiar with the term IRMA, and that stands for Income Related Monthly Adjustment Amount. These individuals will pay a higher Part B premium and an income related adjustment along with their Part D premium as well. Whether you're single or married, filing separate or jointly, these premium increases will vary depending upon your modified adjusted gross income from two years prior. So in 2023, they'll be looking at your 2021 tax return. The Part B and D IRMA amounts are as follows. For those who are single or married and file separately and earn less than $97,000, or married, file jointly, and earn less than $194,000, you will continue to pay the standard Part B premium and will not have to pay a Part D IRMA. If you fall into any of the other categories shown here, your adjusted Part B premium as well as your Part D IRMA premium are shown here. If you have any questions about these Medicare costs for 2023 or wonder how these numbers can affect you, feel free to give our office a call at 888-959-1028 or you can send us an email at info at myhealthcaredirect.com and we'd be more than happy to answer your questions.